What's up everybody? I got this uh, axle redrill project I'm working on. I have a set of uh, Moser axles for a nine inch Ford that were ordered wrong for the wheels we're using. They were ordered five on five for the uh, bolt hole circle pattern. They need to be four and three quarters on five. So we're gonna redrill them using my Bridgeport M head and a digital readout. So I have my setup here. I wanted to show you guys how I did it in case anybody was struggling with it. Maybe they can get some ideas for this for their, you know, if you ever, anybody ever has to do this. I got my turret turned 45 degrees on the bridge port. I have this angle plate here that I made to do this project. I have a stair V block bolted to the plate. And that's how I got my axle shaft hanging off the side of the mill table. And I got it backed up with a, another V block on the back side of the axle with the clamp holding it together. It's real tight. I got everything indicated as close as I can get it. I'm working on this old mill. It's, it's kind of hard to get things square, but I got it within a thou and a half across the surface of this uh, axle flange. And I think we're gonna be just fine. So as far as centering the um, spindle on the axle, I just used my uh, stair at last call indicator. I used my, um, I have the center thing that goes into my chuck or a half inch collet. I got that, you know, close as I could by eye with that. And then came in with my indicator and got it within five tenths around. You gotta take my word for it because it's hard to film that indicator going around, but it's true. And then we'll use our DRO with the bolt hole circle function and I'll show you guys how I do that. All right, so one last thing before I show you the setup on the digital readout, if I can get my indicator out of the way here. I want my first hole to start. I'll show you when we get to the DRO. It's gonna ask you for a starting angle and I want it to be zero. So it kicks the x-axis over the first hole will be straight across from the center here so the way i did that because i want my holes to be in between these holes obviously i came across the tables up kind of high right now but i just you get the gist of it i have this literally a framers square or whatever you call it across the surfaces on the dovetail of the z and i have it just respectively across the edge of these two holes here and that's going to put me damn close to the center of these two holes for my starting one. And then each one after that will land in between these holes. That's one way to set it up. All right, so here's the digital readout. We have our absolute zero. Just make sure this is zeroed after you do your indicating to get the center of that axle flange. And then select your bolt hole circle function, which is this guy here. It's gonna ask you a bunch of questions. You gotta enter a few numbers. So working on X and Y axes, enter. Center line position, we indicated it, we know it's zeroed, make sure it's zeroed here. Diameter we want is four and three quarters. Just enter the numbers here on the calculator over on the right. I already drilled one of these axles, so it's already set up from the previous one. I'm just showing you how to navigate this feature. Starting angle zero. So we want the starting angle zero, how I showed you how I got that, where I'm gonna be landing that. End angle is 288. The way I figured this number, if I could explain it the best I can, is 360 degrees in a full circle divided by five holes, 72 degrees in between each hole, and then 72 times four, because it's four holes after you drill the first one, which is gonna be starting on zero, and that's, you know, I ended up with 288 there. I ran a bunch of tests, double-checked everything, it's, it's right. That's how that's done, if anybody was curious. Number of holes, five. And then the next one you hit enter and it throws up the first number. So hole number one, bring the X down two inches, 375 thousandths. That's your first hole. Basically, you're just zeroing the axes as you go. So I'll show you how that works. All right, like I said, I dialed in a zero. So when I lock the table, it throws up these two tenths here, but that's, I wouldn't worry about those numbers. Um, and that's it, dial it to zero. And then spot your first hole. my uh, holes exactly the size of the other ones for a press fit is I don't have a set of reamers so I'm stepping it up I have these four drill sizes here and I just drill them one at a time so I'm drilling the first one is 27 64 
and it's 13 30 seconds, 7 16 which is the size of a stud, not the neuro, and then 29 64 is my last one. Don't just take your the bit that's closest to the number you need and plow through it because it's drills, they over, they're not reamers, they're drills, so ask me how I know that. Uh, anyway, we'll get set up with the first bit here, and I got it. I'll show you my measurement once we're done with it, but I got it within a foul on the thing, so it worked out good. I gotta bring my knee down. Kind of have to have the knee all the way to the bottom of the travel to do this type of setup here. First drill in, still got some oil on there. Just run it down nice and easy. Take your time, don't push too hard, let the drill do the work. That's what anything. Running 18 hertz on my uh, VFD. I believe it to be about 500 RPA. Stepping it up. All right, so I got the first hole stepped out, and I just the way I double check my uh, size here, they just use a small hole gauge, expand it, compare it to the other one. The original holes on what I'm getting off of it is about 458, 459 ish, they're running, and mine I'm landing them with my uh, final drill size, it was 2964. It's, I'm landing right around 556, 557, so it should be perfect. It's about a thou under. So we can travel into the next hole. All right, so once you're done with hole number one, hit your down arrow here, and it gives you the coordinates of uh, hole number two. Dial your uh, handles to zero and get rocking. So, oh, drop the stuff. Before I go for the last drill size, I just try to double check it with the hole gauge, make sure you even need it. Pull this off a little bit. Takes a second, make sure. Four fifty three. This last one's just opening it up a few more thousands going to make it almost the exact press fit from the factory. Like I said, this would be a lot easier if I had the right size reamer, but I don't. Maybe there's other ways to do this. It's just how I did it. Okay. 
Down with hole two, arrow down, hole number three, dial to zero, drill it. And just repeat all the way up to that last drill size. Check on your right, uh, check your size is second to last. All right, dumb hole number three, arrow down. Hole number four. This one looks like you're only only using the, uh, you're only moving the Y on this one. So it's straight up from the hole number three. So we're done with hole number four. One more arrow down. This is our dimension for uh, coordinates for number five. the one that gets tight on my Y axis. All right, fifth and final hole. your drill sizes before each hole. I actually on the first hole went for the second size for the not paying attention worrying about videoing. Um, just make sure you got your if you're doing it this way you got your drill sizes in order. I didn't scrap it though I was able to save it on the first one. And this last one, I like to go nice and easy, only for the fact that this is being held on with a seat so It's just the way I found it easiest for me to get this job done, with what's working. I guess I'll find out when I go to get him on the car. Double check this uh, last hole here for our final dimension. Should be fine. Four fifty-seven. Perfect. All right, everybody. That's it for this. That's the way I did it. And then when you come over here for your digital readout, just one more down. It'll tell you you're over done. Actually, it'll if you keep going, it'll bring you back to the first position again if you want to do. So I'll just hit our bolt circle thing. It'll bring us back to our uh, regular uh, ABS on our digital readout. So that's it. That's my setup on how I drilled the uh, ordered wrong axle flanges. Thanks for watching.